welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back after another really good week. Uh, we made a bunch of money last week, we're going to make a bunch more money this week. Looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to get into, uh, we already did Canelo, so if you're looking for Canelo, it's already up here. I got Canelo Munguia, I'm showing you how to make money on that. Um, on this one, we're doing Barrios and Maidana, and it's not the Maidana you wish, 140 mate, I don't know, 140 Barrios would have been an absolute war. We missed that by a decade or so. But we have uh, Fabian, Madonna, uh, and uh, Mario Barrios. Uh, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bucket comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, I'll show you how to make money every single week. So join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, it's also right there on that little banner below. So uh, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get a ton of perks. You get Lock of the Week. You get all these different perks. Um, lock of the Week, which we hit again last week. You get this. It's, it's heavy. It's a lot. Uh, we show you how to make money every week. Uh, you can ask the bookie anything. You get a free t-shirt. Ask me to... Uh, do video. I'll do video. I'll break it right down for you. I'll show you how to make money on any single fight that you want if I haven't already done a video on it. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. And we're going to start a Discord on it too. Also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Mario Barrios, uh, the Texan, long, rangy, aggressive, come forward style. Excellent pop. Uh, he's fighting in the right way class now. And you can see, since he's got up to 147, he's carried his pop with him. Because he was draining himself. There was horror stories of him uh, with the, with the Bakhmadov fight when he won his title. Um, having to cut like 13 pounds, 11 pounds, something like that, overnight. Uh, and, and if you go back early in Barrios' career, there was a history of this. Uh, he was fighting, he came up, if you look at early in his career, he was fighting at 122, 126. And he moved all the way up to 130. Um, and um, he had cut weight so badly. It was, you know, the, the day before the fight. Maybe it was two days before the fight. Uh, I think it was day. I think it was supposed to be the, the day of the weigh-in. Where he's fighting... Um, uh, Davis uh, Bashario. And... The agreed upon weight was 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 130. Barros couldn't make it. Um, he came in heavy, I think, and that was the end of it. And then after that, he moved up, and he that's when he scored the nine knockouts in a row. That got him. He won the world title at the point, but after that, he had won everything at uh, 140. He went from 130 to 140, and you see that his power power traveled with him. Yeah, the guy's able to cut weight, but it doesn't do his power justice. He, 147 is the right division for him, just like at that time, 140 was the right division for him. And you see his po power carrying with him as he goes up. He has good po power, very good power, good volume puncher, um, changes levels. He's... Very, he's vastly improved. You see his footwork. You see his punch selection. He's vastly improved with Bob Santos. Um, good volume. He keeps pumping shots out. He, he fires up shots. Good volume guy. Throws nice straight punches. Keeps you at arm's length. You know, doesn't pull his shots at all. Straight, straight shots. Uh, he, he uses his height. He uses his reach. And he's a good body puncher. He doesn't have great speed. And, and that's a knock on him. You know, defensively, he's got flaws. He's still in front of you to be hit, although his footwork is better. He's using the ring more. Uh, but it is, he's vastly improved. He, he, he was a raw talent with Virgil Hunter. And, and you can see that with Santos, he's, he's, he's improving. He's a good finisher like he always is. He's got quick reflexes. You know, he's a little, little herky-jerky. He, he, there's a little bit of athleticism to him, a coordination to his footwork, even though he's not hyper fast and he, he still has some sloppy moments crossing his feet. But again, that's all improved with Bob Santos. And, and we saw this in the Ugas fight. Um, you know, everyone, I, I picked him to beat Ugas, by the way. You can go back and check that. But with, with Ugas, 
everyone was picking him to be Ugas. And you saw the development in his footwork, in his ability to use the ring, in his combination punching and selecting his shots. It was, it was a really, really good performance. Uh, but he still needs more head movement. He's still not a difficult guy to hit. He's still relatively easy to hit, even though he is vastly improved. Uh, Fabian Madonna comes forward, throws hard shots, digs the body, good body puncher. That's really where the comparison to his big brother ends. Um, I, I've heard people say that it's, it's Madonna's kid. It's not his kid. It's his younger brother. He's slow, too. Uh, he's a little more patient, a little more fluid uh, than Big Brother. More willing to stand and jab and move and box. Although he's not, you know, he's very selective with his shots. He's not a lot like his brother. He throws cleaner shots. He looks more textbook than his brother. Right? Like his brother threw weird punches and weird angles. And, you know, he was basically a, you know, a, a, a highly trained wild animal in there. Um, he's not like that. He's got a good gas tank. He's not just a high volume guy. He's selective with his shots. He, he's willing to go backwards. He's willing to bend a little bit. You know, he's not like his. He's not like Marcos. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good tank. You know, he's he, well, well endurance fighter. He's not a world class fighter. You know, he's got decent ring generalship. You can see he's from a fighting family. That he was. He was. He was raised to do this. He's just not a world class fighter. He doesn't seem like a big hitter. He doesn't have his brother's pop. Gets a little wild in there at times too if he's if he's frustrated. He commits to his shots, you know. He but he doesn't really, you know. I I'm not saying he's feather fisted. I'm saying he, he throws hard shots and he commits to them. There's just not a ton of pop on him, right? He's not his brother. He's not going to change the fight with one shot like his brother did. Uh, he's not a bad fighter. I just don't see him as a world class fighter. So I don't really see this. I, I don't see this going well for him. Um, and the odds reflect that. The, 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 the odds makers are actually getting this, this right. Uh, I thought, you know, there was a a pretty good shot that um, what am I trying to say? They were going to give him better odds because he's Madonna. Because he's, you know, the only reason he's in this fight the only reason he's got any attention on him is, at all is because his brother uh, knocked Floyd Mayweather's tooth out, right? And beat Adrian Broner. But Fabian Madonna is nepotism. He's not a world-class fighter. He doesn't, he doesn't warrant being in here. Uh, and, and the odds rightfully show that. Is there a title on the line for this? I think there is. The interim. Yeah, WBC interim world title. They're, they're handing this to Barrios. Um, this is an easy money bet. This is probably going to be part of the lock at a parlay. $20 bet is going to make you about 18 bucks. Uh, join the Patreon. The, the props are not out on this. When the props are out on this, let's take a look at the props. Because I, I think Barrios is going to win this by stoppage. Um, you know, McDonald's going to try to survive. He's not that good of an athlete. I don't think he's going to be able to survive. He's not hyper fast. Um, and I think he's going to be getting out, out class, out box, uh, and then he's going to engage a little bit more. And when he does, he's going to get stopped. So I, I like Barrios by stopping. All those props are not out yet. So join the Patreon, just five dollars a month. I'll show you how to make money on on the stoppage too. We'll look at the over under. We'll look at the stoppage. We'll look at the round props. We'll, we'll look at all that. And when that's dropping, join the Patreon. And I'll, I'll advise on how to bet on the stoppage. But uh, so for this. Two times bet, two times your normal bet. Um, uh, Barrios, minus 1,100. That's all there is to it. This is easy. Barrios wins this fight going away. Easy fight for Barrios. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner. Hit the thumbs up. Um, it is, what, what day is it? April 28th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.